In the 24th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus was describing the events leading to the last days. And he said this, he said, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to every creature. And then he said, the end will come. The only way for that to happen is when the church is in full blown revival. You know, the book of Acts is an interesting book because it describes the church before it became over muscle with administration and out of breath with organization. When the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost, it went ballistic. The disciples went everywhere preaching the gospel. This revival was not contained in Jerusalem. It went to Samaria, to the outermost parts of the world. It just went ballistic. And the disciples went and carried this revival fire. Everywhere they went, the kingdom of God was being preached. And this, it reached to the furthest extent of the Roman Empire. The revival lasted for over a hundred years. It was a, it was a powerful, make no mistake about it, a powerful, Holy Spirit move of God and I believe that this is what the church in Singapore needs more than anything else in this hour we need a full-blown Holy Spirit revival righteousness is important to God firstly because he's righteous and he's called us to be a righteous people and a righteous people can influence its nation to be righteous. Uh, in Acts chapter 17, God also provided for us a blueprint in Scripture for forming a nation, uh, not just for government, but for saying that the basic building block of society is the married couple, one man, one woman, one lifetime. That's in Genesis 1. And that within this context, children should be born and raised. So a righteous people, which cares for the entire community, will speak up for this plan of God because it is designed to bless communities. Singapore bears a strong resemblance to Antioch in a number of ways. Antioch was a multiracial and multicultural city populated by immigrants, as we are. It was a busy economic and transport hub that channeled many visitors from afar, as we do. Over the years, we have heard multiple prophetic words spoken over Singapore, that we are called to be the Antioch of Asia. The Lord desires that His people here in Singapore would continue to fulfill His dream of a truly global body comprising believers from every tribe and nation, worshipping Him, preaching His gospel, and turning darkness into light until His return. As it is, the nations are already here on our shores, Migrant workers comprising many nationalities are working in our midst already and many who have come to know our Lord Jesus have brought back the gospel to their homelands. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to reach out to the nations right here on our doorstep as well as those around us. We have been appointed to take the gospel to the world. Everything is in place and the pathways are widening. The access, the technology, the languages, the know-how, the mobility and the understanding of the gospel of Christ. We are indeed a people blessed to be a blessing. It is our honour to fully live out our calling. Mission does follow worship. In Acts 13, when the disciples gathered in Antioch to worship, the Holy Spirit instructed them to send out Saul and Barnabas on a missionary venture. This launched the missionary travels and eventually a global evangelization movement through their work in Antioch. I believe the Holy Spirit will do the same this festival of praise. As we gather to worship Him, many, I believe, will feel His heartbeat for souls and hear His heart's cry for us to go. Go gather His lost sheep. Go bring back His lost children. If you hear Him, please say yes. Great things can begin with a simple yes. I believe with all my heart that above everything else that this nation needs, we don't need more clever planning, we don't need more uh, impressive personalities. What we need in this hour is for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now every revival has a battle cry. You know, in the Welsh revival in 1904, the battle cry was, bend the church, Lord, and the world will bow. The battle cry for John Knox of Scotland, give me Scotland or let me die. The battle cry for the Moravian church was that the Lamb of God may receive the reward for his suffering. The battle cry for the Salvation Army is, Lord, we need another Pentecost. But I believe that the church in Singapore must have our battle cry for this hour. And it must be, Lord, we want revival. 
We need to have revival in this nation. But before God can pour out His Spirit, we need to have new wineskins. New wine cannot be poured into old wineskins or old wineskins. I think the new wine really starts with pastors in the city beginning to think differently about how we approach and do church. It's not about nice programming, it's not about our structures, it is about the Holy Spirit coming. And so we need to have these wineskins prepared for what God is going to do in our generation. I'm living to see revival. I believe with all my heart that we are going to see revival come to Singapore. Singapore is on the collision course with revival. It is inevitable, it is consequential because we've been crying out for it. And I believe that we are going to see the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit we've ever seen up till date. It's going to happen. We must get the wineskins ready for what God is about to do. We need to change the way we process our ideas. We need to think differently in the way we approach church. How are we going to accommodate the Holy Spirit when it comes? That's going to be the big question to us. But I believe that God will give us the keys. He will give us the blueprints and the strategies for what we are going to see is the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that this nation and the churches in this nation has ever seen. It will happen. Believe me, mark my words, revival is coming.